Hey there everyone, GameFox here, and welcome to Fallout New Vegas. Yes, yes it's an older Fallout game. No I don't care, it's my favorite Fallout game. Um, anybody who's actually been around the channel since I started doing crap videos <laughs> um, will know that I tried to do Fallout, the first Fallout game. It's a weird game to play, and I may go back and try it again now that I understand how to do videos a little bit better. Um, but I've been wanting to do Fallout New Vegas on the channel since then, just because I absolutely love how much of it really embodies what old Vegas used to be. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am from Vegas. Not from, but I, I live in Vegas now. And um, it is a ridiculous city. <laughs> it is so weird. Um, and I'm going to try and keep the, the annoying, uh, oh, well, this is actually like this crap to a minimum. Just so that way it, it, it doesn't irritate anybody. So for those of you that haven't seen Vegas, uh, Fallout before, Welcome to Fallout New Vegas. It doesn't follow the storyline of the other Vegas or the frick, the other Fallout games, but it's well worth a good laugh anyway. If you're familiar with RPG style games, and this will this will be right up your alley. Uh, we're gonna go and start a new game. I'm gonna cut out the music for this part because it is copyrighted. But if you guys are in, uh, for those of you that haven't seen Fallout before, watch the intro. It's actually really cool. To kind of specify what's going on here, um, the casino that we're currently in is called the Lucky 38. Uh, you'll find out more about that as the game goes on, as we explore a little bit more. But what's fun is that each of these casinos that you see on what is the New Vegas Strip have actually been either based off of original Las Vegas casinos um, from downtown Las Vegas, or they've been based off of uh, current casinos that are on the Strip. But being that's a post-apocalyptic wasteland, we're going to have some problems. <laughs> and you need to protect the money, the big boss, from anything that could possibly be trying to kill them. Oh, that's always a fun scene to watch. And there's Caesar's Legion. Now, they're the ultimate evil in this game, apparently, according to some. And there's Benny. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the Earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. So that's a little bit different than the other Fallout games. As decades Not passed, much. what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. Basically trying to bring back what as we currently have as a grew, republic. So did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. Gotta love it. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. Yeah, Hoover Dam would be the NCR what would survive here. <laughs> army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. I can't imagine what that would be like Across in a post fucking world. Another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. That's Through it all, terrifying the New thought. Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated <laughs> tribal. <laughs> it said revolving cocktail, but they misspelled it revolking. <laughs> you are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. We got shot in the head. Yup. Got what you were after, so 
Well, we're gonna be shot in the head. You're crying in the rain, Pally. I got some big hands. Guess who's waking up over here? Don't look at me, please. Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? I love it. They got his character down to a T. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Yep. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Look how excited the one guy is in the background, like, just do it! And Bethesda Softworks presents an Obsidian Entertainment production, Fallout New Vegas. I love it. Okay, I know I said I was going to keep that annoying, you know, this is supposed to be the crap to a minimum, but if you didn't know, the guy in the checkered suit, Benny, he's supposed to be based off of Ben Siegel, Benjamin Bugsy Siegel. You're awake. I'm Waking up, up slowly, oh god. Whoa, easy there, easy. I got a broad machete. A couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Well, being Let's shot in the head would do that to me, you know. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Uh, if if I was shot in the head, then no, my name would be. <laughs> Uh, let's just go Game Fox. For posterity's sake. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but <gasps> that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Pleasure to now, meet you, Doc. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your knowledge. Okay, I adjusted the audio a little bit because I could barely hear the... I, I could barely hear the character talking. Work, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. No, no, we'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna make my character, and then we'll come back to it. Oh yeah, because I look like a man with a double chin. <laughs> Alright, well there we are. Pretty simple, easy to go with. Funny thing is I used to have my hair like that. Oh well. Ye oh. Yeah, I want to be my character. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Most of it. Stuff that mattered. Yeah, you know, like Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. But I'm, but I'm tired. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. No, why? Good. I gotta do walking why now. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over uh. by that bigger tester machine there? Vitomatic Vigo Tester. It ain't a race. I can see your face really clearly on the computer. I'm used to only playing this on the 360, We're so. Good so far. Okay. Let me set my stats. Yes, I know. I'll set my stats, and we'll be back once more. Okay, so I went ahead and put nothing in my strength because I don't deal with melee. I put a lot in my perception because I deal with a lot with long range weapons um, in any game, not just this one. I didn't affect endurance. Uh, I added one up in charisma because that's always going to be helpful. Nothing in intelligence. One up in agility because I like to move fast. And one up in luck because I also like to get criticals because I like critical hits. Uh, okay. So we're good. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there. But standard. What you've been I'm above much, average. Thank you. Well, we know your Whoa. Are good, okay, this is. Them bullet didn't leave you a in the big horn of yeah, probably. What do you say? You take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple what? of questions. But I don't. I don't want to. You told me to stand up. Now you want me to sit down. Sit down. Stand up. Stand up. Sit down. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Upright. Upright. All right. I'm gonna say a word. Now, I'm also gonna skip through this part really quick because this is just setting up your basic God. stats, and I'm just gonna go right through it because I like to set my own. House. So I'll be back. Okay. So that's all that was for. Basically, he asked me a couple of questions. Do I strongly agree, disagree? This is basically a psychiatric test. Um, and you know what? It actually, just doing random answers <laughs> didn't get me far from what I like, except I like barter and guns. I do like explosives, though. I'm gonna take sneak... No. I'll put things into sneak later, but I like guns, explosive, and speech as my starter. So, I mean, it wasn't that far off. Um, This is just how I play the game. You know, whatever. Let me just Before act like I one of those uh, know-it-all douchebags. 
We got a form for you to fill out, so I can a get form. a medical history. A form. Just a formality. Uh, Ain't like I to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Yeah, no, probably not. Okay, now we get to choose our traits, which is pretty fun. Um, let's see. Oh, there are a lot more traits than. Oh, yeah, because I forgot I had the DLC installed. I'm gonna go with Wild Wasteland. For sure, because I love all the weird stuff. Uh, Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of the game. So, this will be interesting. Anytime you see the little um, icon pop up in the upper, I think it's upper left corner with the vault boy going, uh, then that's when you want to look around for something in the area. Oh, okay, you know what? Kamikaze is good. I get ten, plus 10 action points, which means I can, I can use the VAT system, which if you haven't seen Fallout before, you'll see it in a little bit. Um, I can use the VAT system more. Uh, but I have minus two thresholds, so we'll go with that. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Thank you, Doc. So this is going to be a weird sort of video for me. There's probably going to be a lot of cutting in editing. Um, only because I don't know what you guys want to see. And you're welcome to go ahead and tell me what you want to see. Um... In the comments, let me know what you'd like to experience in the game. If you haven't experienced anything before, and I'll do my best to abide by it. Try and basically um, accommodate what you guys have. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm taking everything, I don't get any penalty for taking this stuff. Um, but yeah, I just kind of want to see exactly what you guys... I kind of want to play exactly what you guys want to see. So we'll go with that. These since I've played yours. this so much. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. Got extra stim packs, extra bottle mind, caps, but I gave the note extra bobby pins. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We That's all got awesome. One. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. Was my wife's. I'd like to know more about his history. I about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Uh, let's see. Thanks for patching me up. Shouldn't have got through my stuff. What do I do? Thanks for oh, patching me up, Doc. It. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And really? the little fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Ah, that's Any way you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. Oh, but it's fun! Okay. Um, I'm not playing in hardcore mode. I've never played in hardcore mode. I probably should if you guys want to see me try and fail at that a lot in the future, then I will. But as for right now, how do I... There we go. I have to remember how to play this. This is so cool seeing it this close to my face because I'm usually playing on a TV. Ah, okay. Uh, give me a sec. Let me check some things and I'll be right back. Okay. So I went ahead and opened up the Maha the uh, my miscellaneous notes and stuff. Um, this is my original courier's notice. Instructions. Deliver the package at the north entrance to the Vegas Strip by, the, by way of Freeside. An agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint, take possession of the package, and pray, pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. In the manifest, this package contains one oversized poker chip composed of platinum. Contract penalties, you are on an author, you are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed, yada, yada, yada. Talks about your, um, talks about your terms of acceptance and stuff like that. Well, hello everybody! Welcome to Good Springs! Let me just get through this really quick. There we go. Now, I am upset because I always play this with the radio on, but I can't because of the copyright notices, so... Have fun with that, I'm sorry. But here is a victor! Damn it! Here's Victor. Howdy, partner. Might I say I love you're it. looking fit as a fiddle? Look up Vegas Vic. <laughs> Do it. Uh, thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't you know? Do you know the men who attacked me? How did you end up in Good Springs? Uh, thanks for digging Don't me out. It. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. That seems rather suspicious. 
Uh, do you know the guys it's who attacked me? I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. That'd be nice. Uh, how'd you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. It's all bone orchard? Like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Let me just, let me just stop on the term bone orchard. <laughs> like, a, a grove of skeletons just out of the ground. That's all I can think of. Uh, let's see, how did you end up a good spot? I moved into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. I'm sorry, Victor. Odd. Anyway. It's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I would say so. Uh, I have seen a robot like you before. I know exactly what he is. Um, but for those of you who don't... I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. And he's got such a weird... He's not supposed to have the AI he does. Happy trails! As far as Securitrons are concerned. Okay. So all we know is we got shot in the head. Left for dead. Basically put into an orchard of bones. Damn it. And now... Wow, this is so cool. Um, now we have to try and find the guys that have killed me. Or tried to kill me, at least. Ah, tumbleweeds! Hello, Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Not talk like that, please. <laughs> uh, do you know anything the about the people who attacked me? The suit seem to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Of course, Other Benny folks would. In town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Well, we all know Bugsy Siegel had a temper. Uh, why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and <laughs> help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Well, that's good. Um, prospectors are the kind are going out for salvage. So after, so they don't go for gold or silver. Just so you guys know, that, I don't have to click on it. Uh, what's wrong with the NCR? Do you know anything about Machine? Victor? Machine, harmless. No matter what Trudy says, she thinks it's hiding something. I don't know who but Trudy is at this point, but down I do. But no you don't. Place to be. Um, what do you think's don't wrong with the NCR? Wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them, whether you like it or not. Okay. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Yeah. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. And then, uh, for those of you who don't know about the Legion... They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam. But the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. All right, well... So, fun fact about ah, the NCR. The NCR is the republic in California that is trying to bring back the original Republic of the United States. Um, it doesn't really coincide Cheyenne much stay. with the other games. Because Don't that worry. all talks about she the East Coast. Her tell her to. And who are you? Uh, okay, Doc said you could teach me how to yeah, survive in the desert. I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they've done to you. Yes, please. Meet me outside, behind the <laughs> saloon. Yes, please. We should all know how this works at this point, you know. Apparently I'm a bad shot anyway. That's the right idea. There Look we go. Sight. She didn't say I'm it, but I gotta down shoot down these the bottles so that way I can actually well, that's a start. get past the you came tutorial. To me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Nope. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Well, if you're in the middle of the desert, then I would assume they'd be attracted to it. But yes, I'm gonna go ahead and run through the tutorial real fast. You'll get to see some action. That's about it. Um, because I want the experience. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Just a short ways. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to click on you. 
I was crouched, so I was... Can I run? No, I can't. You can in Fallout 4, right? This is why I should have upped my agility a little bit. Alright, well, I'll meet you at the geckos. Well, actually, you know what? This is a good opportunity to talk a little bit. Um, so like I was trying to say before, but I keep getting distracted. I'm never able to form my sentences quite properly, and I know I need to slow down when I'm talking a little bit. Um, I want this series to be something that we can kind of do together. For those of you that watch my channel regularly, or watch the channel regularly, pardon me, um, I want to know what kind of decisions you want me to make. If you've seen Fallout New Vegas before, and you know what's coming up, let me know if you want me to make particular choices, and I will. For those of you that haven't seen New Vegas before, or Fallout before at all, which... I know it's few and far between. Um, let me know what you think I should do. Let me know what direction you think I should be Headed heading up in. on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos that clear out. Gecko! Monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. And this is why I like to put something into my sneak, but I didn't do anything this time. Um, so yeah, leave a comment down below if you want me to do anything in particular. But for right now, okay, you're on. You're I know I'm going. I'm going. You saw me already, you bastard. Oh, that's I'm it. sorry, Chris. I'm sorry, Icarus. No. Come on. Ah. Okay. Well, I didn't get. I didn't get to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. I get extra points if she doesn't die. I get extra points if she don't die. Ah, oh, damn it! I can't get there fast enough. Come on, give me my other gun. Help. I'm working on it, lady. Yes! <laughs> Here we go. Cool. Mess with me. You gonna talk to me? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. Thank you. you. I will take it. And now I'm accepted by Good Springs. That's why you have to make sure she lives. You're gonna have a good thing to say to me, aren't you? Confound it, Cheyenne. Why'd you have to go running in like that? You were supposed to stay. Cheyenne died? You shouldn't have to see me like this. I'm not going to be very good company right now. I did have another thing to teach. But I'll understand if you'd rather I just pay you so you could be on your way. Holy crap! I didn't realize that Cheyenne could die! Oh my god, that's terrible! Okay, fine. But I'm going to do the cooking thing. Up the land. Hey, do me a favor. I'm so upset! Judy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Go get a hug! Oh my god, I can't believe she- Did I shoot the dog? Where's the dog? What's this down here? Is the PC version different from the Xbox version? I had no idea Cheyenne could die! Let's check this out. I've never- I've never actually seen this before. Hello? Can you help me? Uh, what's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Oh. Please, she's going to die. Okay, where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You know what? We got, we got time. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Let's go do that real quick. Oh, yeah, I know how to use vats. Did I? Oh, I actually hit it from that distance. That's awesome. And again. Really? I didn't get the second shot? I got the first one, but not the second one? There we go! That's what I needed! <laughs> You're just little guys, too. Barely worth the bullets. Ah! Okay! Never mind! Never mind! Never mind! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to insult you! Oh. That's lovely. As I take a sip from my Vault 13 canteen. This isn't a chick. Hi, Johnny. Uh, you don't have anything I want, though. What are these? What? That's one of those wasteland weird things. I guess it's not gonna ha pop up with the little vault boy thing, but these are supposed to be... They're just rubber balls! Am I missing something here? Let's go back down and tell him that he doesn't have a girlfriend. Or a boyfriend, in this case. Oh, here he is. Sorry I tricked you. But oh. thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. Too bad, I already After did. There's nothing up there. <laughs> I win. Fire again? Really? 
One more time. There we go. That's why we like vats. It makes my life ten times easier. But I'll take your stuff. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. All right. Well, you know, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this video here. Um, mostly because I want this to be an introductory sort of thing. You've seen, you've gotten a taste for what the, uh, the aesthetic of the game is like if you've never seen it before. You've gotten a taste for how I like to play the game if you have seen it before. Um, so I'll tell you what. If you enjoy the video, leave a comment, leave a like. I'd certainly appreciate it. Don't forget, if there's a particular way you want me to play the game, leave it in the comments down below. Send me a message. I don't care. Just let me know. I want this to be something that'll be interactive with anybody that comes to the channel. So... Leave a comment, leave a like, I'd certainly appreciate it. it. Let's me know how I'm doing. And other than that, you guys take luck and care and have a wonderful day.